Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in on this Thursday evening, July 2nd, a couple days away from Independence Day. I guess I guess it is a, a Canadian day today. I didn't know that. My neighbors were lighting off their fireworks uh, a couple days early, and I kind of investigated, and I guess, you know, the Canadians, uh, they do their thing a couple days early. It's something new I learned today, but it's all good. I'll do my noise poppers here in a couple days. Anyway, folks... Taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe here. Uh, it's been a couple days since I've done an update. Latest earthquake out here. A 4.0 on this side of the globe here. Exact location and coordinates is right around um, Iran. At a depth of about 10 kilometers or so. Um, so some activity occurring out there in and around Iran area. And also just to the east there. Looking over here towards the west. Pretty quiet out here towards the Mediterranean Sea region. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity to report, but uh, it comes and goes, folks. We do see swarms out there. Right now, there's a kind of an area out there in the Mediterranean Sea that's pretty quiet. An area that is swarming is out here in the South America region. Quite an uptick in earthquake activity out here in South America, right around the uh, San Antonio, Chile region. We're seeing all sorts of clusters of uh, earthquakes out there. And this is just over the last 24 hours. Uh, pretty pretty uh, good sized swarm out there of earthquakes in an area that can see some major activity. But right now the largest earthquake looks to be about a 5.1 in that swarming of activity. Over here towards the north, a little bit more activity out here. Uh, just south of Mexico, off the coast of Mexico. Of course, uh, they did have some activity over here to the well right around that area i would say so we could be seeing some aftershock activity um, occurring in that region there it looks like a 5.2 and quite a few threes and fours within that area uh, west coast still showing some activity we're going to get to that here in just a little bit here on a different map uh, but taking a look over here towards the western part of the pacific ring of fire Activity up there around, um, well, looks like uh, Japan and north of there, off the coast of Russia. No major activity report, and in fact, all of this activity, uh, I'd say about 75% of it, is very old activity and just about ready to drop off that 24-hour uh, period of activity there. So, newer earthquakes showing up in the pink or in, in the uh, white, I should say. Older earthquake activity showing in the pink. And the oldest is going to be in the dark red color, uh, like that deep earthquake there in the Indonesia Islands area. Just uh, just about ready to drop off the globe there. So pretty quiet for the most part over here in this world, in this part of the world. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in to the uh, uh, west coast here real quick. I was going to do an update video last night in regards to this activity. I decided not to. There's a little bit of activity showing up around the Mount Lassen area, folks. Um, kind of played this off as just a little bit of a, of a, of a interesting activity. Mount Lassen is only oh, only about, well, a couple hours away from me here. Very close, actually, on a geological scale here. Let's go seven days, all magnitude, so we can pick up the activity that was taking place up here. Uh, right around the Mount Lassen area in Northern California. We'll, we'll cover Southern California here in just a little bit, but I want to show you guys the activity popping off here around Lassen Peak, right at the mountain, if you will, right at the volcano peak. We're seeing kind of a little cluster of activity. Uh, it has since somewhat died down, but not all the way. Uh, we're looking at just within this, let's go ahead and zoom in here to Lassen Park, Lassen National Park, and we can get the uh, specific earthquakes here. Zoom in one more time here, and you guys can see, there we go. Uh, roughly about 17 earthquakes right around the Lassen Park peak, and that's that cluster of activity right there, folks. It's an active volcano, obviously. I've been up there numerous times myself and, and along with the kids there. A lot of uh, geothermal activity, a lot of uh, hot springs and whatnot uh, being produced up there in that activity, or up there in that area. Most of the uh, depth of these earthquakes here, we're looking at 
um, right around three kilometers or so. But I could have swore, unless they've updated it, it looks like they may have updated it, uh, that there was some deeper earthquake activity out there occurring in the Mount Lassen area that would prove, or at least point towards magma movement. But right now, it looks like they may have updated that to, uh, uh, well, it looks like the deepest there is going to be about five kilometers, which is still pretty deep. Could be uh, magma related down there. Um, below the surface but something I'm keeping an eye on very closely very closely right I don't need no volcano blowing up right in my backyard it, well, I tell you what if it does happen I'm gonna live stream I do not care I'm gonna live stream it and uh, you guys will get one heck of a show let me tell you so yeah all magnitudes right there you guys can see that um, popping off there in Mount Lassen region. Let's go ahead and shoot down towards the south. Uh, Southern California, the concrete jungle down there. Well, let's we'll stop over here in Nevada real quick. Take a look at the activity uh, popping off there. Northwest of Tonopah, Nevada. Still seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity. Uh, no major quakes to report in this region, but activity nonetheless. Swarming, if you will, in that linear type of uh, the fault system you can see basically that's where the fault ruptured so you can see that uh, specific fault out there showing quite a bit of uh, earthquake activity in the aftershock department down here towards Ridgecrest Ridgecrest and Mount Whitney region still looking uh, like it's shaking a little bit down there I know uh, up here towards Tom's place with which is outside of Mammoth Lakes we've seen a little bit larger quake then these microquakes are showing. Let's see if I can zoom in here real quick and pick that up. Of course, this is right around, in and around the Long Valley Super Volcano. Uh, 3.4 right there. Tom's place at about 5 kilometers. And of course, there was a little bit swarming before that and also a little bit swarming afterwards. So, uh, just keeping an eye on it definitely keep an eye on it some some volcanoes and super volcanoes showing some activity but not uh you know not a time to panic at least not yet southern cal will shoot down here around salt and sea region showing a little bit of activity right around the southern end of the of the uh san andreas fault system there you can see right down there on the brawley seismic zone of that 2.0 right around bombay beach the rest of the San Andreas Fault System, pretty quiet, shooting up to the north. Uh, still, that's a major area, folks, to watch for some uh, major movement in in the uh, near future, no doubt. So anyway, folks, we're going to jump off here real quick and uh, hang out here. Hopefully everyone's having a good Thursday evening, I think. I will be lighting off some fireworks here at my place. What do we got here for the latest earthquake? Uh, let's see. 4.0. I'll be lighting off some uh, fireworks here for the neighbors. They got a couple yapping dogs that uh, I can't stand. So they're going to be uh, enjoying some piccolo peats and uh, some firecrackers and anything else that I want to throw towards the public street. You know, it's just it's one of those things. <laughs> I don't know if you guys like little yapping dogs, but my neighbors have them and it's so annoying. They yap at, at the wind. They yap at piece of dust on the ground i mean they're they're clueless i'm sorry folks i don't want to get off topic or off topic here but uh man i tell you why it's it's miserable listening to them day in day out it's, i don't even see how their owners can handle um dealing with that type of nonsense if you will so anyway my firecrackers are going to be lined up here in a couple nights and uh yeah who knows maybe i'll live stream them out here <laughs> All right, folks, have a good night out there. Please stay safe. Activity kind of uh, moderate, kind of on the increase out there, but you never know. Mother Nature will decide to do her thing when she decides to do it. So have a good night. Peace out. Chat to you guys a little bit later.